Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Alex, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the brand new features in iOS 7.1. So without any further ado, let's go right ahead and get started. iOS 7.1 was just released today regarding some minor bug fixes, some color changes, and released today by Apple developers. Unfortunately, since iOS 7.1 was just released, there is no current jailbreak exploited, meaning that is not jailbreakable, and we will have to wait a few months for a new jailbreak exploit. So I'd recommend sticking on if you have a jailbreaking device. All right, the first thing, of course, is the dimmer messages and FaceTime icons, which all this does is it just dims the colors or makes them a little less vibrant that you would normally see on an iOS device. So if we take a closer look compared to my iPod Touch 5th, fifth generation on the right and my iPhone 5s on the left the icons are a little bit more brighter on the iPod Touch 5th generation than the iPhone 5s so that is just a minor and easier on the eyes change uh, the second thing is the new power off slider which I do really recommend yeah, I don't really recommend it because it's default but it does require or it does just feature a new circle slider and more uh, bug free slider than the old square beta bar thing that was sort of lame I didn't really like that it looked too roundish but now the circle one looks really cool now the next one is just a really minor one it's just a control center bounce up effect that is pretty much seen on the Android lock screen notification center so that is just a minor one it's nothing too special it's just a small spring effect on the iOS control center the next one is the new accessibility options which of course we get more accessibility options when doing this now we also have the interest colors which all this does is it just allows you to go to the uh, entry increased contrast which allows you to have a few different options in there I'll be showing you guys we have the reduced transparency which actually allows you to if we switch this on if we take a look at the control center it is white and if we turn uh, the reduced transparency on the control center is going to be gray and if you notice even in the video it's much easier to read than any standard control center without the transparency the next one is we have darker colors which if you notice you can't really tell on the camera but the darker colors are a little bit more darker than the standard iOS colors so I really recommend this to those who are just easy on the eyes next time we have the reduce white point which is of course I might one of my favorite things that they have added in here we have uh, what this does is it makes the white a little let let a really light gray instead of a white so it is again easier on the eyes and it does uh, make it uh, save battery life the next one is the new calendar months display which all this does is it allows you to um, it's actually one of the really good things if you're a calendar user on your phone all this does is it you could tap that little button at the top right hand corner where you can see all the events listed in a future month so we can plan events in the future month like a wedding a party or anything else like that without having to go into uh, waiting for that month to happen and then plan it again I uh, really surprised that Apple released this this late but however it was released so just be happy that it's out there the next one was we have the new cap lock sign on the keyboard which is just another minor cosmetic it's nothing too special but if we go create a note I'm just going to quickly show you that the cap locks if we triple tap or double tap the cap locks key the cap locks will turn on and there's a little line under that so it just makes it a whole new uh, little icon instead of turning all black we have the little um, button which all this does is it just turn on the uh, uh, cap locks and makes it look a little more professional the next one is the HDR auto high dynamic range imaging for the iPhone 5s only now HDR stands for high dynamic imaging which was first introduced with Android phones running the camera if we take a look at the top D for the HDR auto all this does is it turns it onto automatic instead of on or off for the regular old other iOS devices but this does work only with the uh, rear camera unfortunately not with the front camera we will have to switch that on to auto for the rear on the auto on for the front however this does not work with video because the high dynamic imaging does not work with video only the audio all right so if we take a quick look here we go to HDR auto only for the 5s unfortunately that is not available for the 5c and or 5 we have the more accurate Siri coming up next here ends recording when you release the home button so I'm still holding the home button as soon as I let go Siri will stop my recording and make my accurate make my request more accurate so I have found this much more useful however I'm not a heavy Siri user so I'm not really into this tweak but it does do you can still use it the old way if you wish to all you have to do is just quickly hold it and it will continue recording uh, the next one we have coming in is the perspective zoom wallpapers which will have a 3d wallpaper effect toggle now if you notice 
you have the option to go here and you turn on the perspective zoom so if you go to select the new wallpaper stills select the first wallpaper we have the perspective zoom to off we go click on set both we're going to realize that if we take a closer look here that the 3d effect will not take place when the perspective zoom is set to off only when it is set to on so that is a brand new feature that is featured in ios 7.1 otherwise that's it for today guys if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel please make sure to check that out because i will be releasing much more videos coming up with the next weekend and more weekends or so more city tweaks coming up for you guys so that is it guys for today if you guys like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel again. I really wish you could help me like this video, share it with all your friends. Anyways, guys, see you on my next one. Peace.